Hi, my name's Daniel and I'm a professional artist and sometimes I use a projector. This is my old projector and this is my new projector. I'm always asked which projector I use so I thought I'd make it easier and just show you. I'll also explain what I look for in a projector as an artist and show you exactly how I use it to project onto canvas or paper. It might seem simple, but there are a few mistakes that can be made when using a projector. So I wanna make sure that you can make the best art possible and not make any of those mistakes. First of all, I don't think using a projector is cheating. I think it's a fast, it's a simple, and it's a really efficient way of getting your initial sketches onto a canvas or paper. I would imagine if Leonardo da Vinci had access to one of these when he was painting, he would have 100% used a projector. However, relying on a projector before you've had a chance to learn how to draw accurately with good form and proportion could slow down your growth as an artist. So don't use it as a replacement for freehanding all your drawings so that you are continuing to improve your skill and understanding. This is my original projector. I've had it for about 10 years. It does the job but it's a bit heavy, it's a bit slow, and because it's so big, it's hard to position. And I found it very useful for projecting big pictures, but on a smaller scale, about this size, it's only a 480p projector, so it's not the best quality. I find it gets a little bit pixelated and hard to use. So I decided to get this. It's not actually for me. It's actually a Christmas present for my fiance, Amber, who, if you've just joined me, is also an artist. And if you do know, Shh, don't say anything. I got this new projector from Amazon. It was about 60 pounds and I think it's about 60 US dollars too. I'll drop a link for it in the description if you want to get hold of it. So far from my use with it, it is in a different league to my older projector. For one, it's significantly smaller, easier to move and significantly lighter. For such a small projector, I am so impressed with the quality of the image. It's crisper, it's sharper on both big and smaller pictures than my old projector. It's so much easier to use, especially in smaller spaces like my studio. And it's got a couple of different features that my older projector didn't have that has made my life so much easier. The main feature is this thing right here, a tripod mount. I can attach this much lighter projector onto my tripod, which makes it so much easier to position correctly onto the canvas. When you're projecting, you wanna make sure that your projector is as straight on to that canvas as possible. You don't want any distortion if it's at an angle. I chose this projector because of how large it projects, even when it's not that far away from the canvas. I measured it. And this is about seven foot away from the wall, so not that far of a distance. And it projected an image that was six foot across. So I'm not sure what that diagonal is, but it's plenty big enough for any pictures that I'm going to be doing in this studio. It was the exact same size as my wall easel, so I can't paint any bigger than that. It's great for projecting on a large scale. Here's a six foot picture of me. It's also great at projecting at a smaller scale. I used it to project these three dog pastel commissions. You can't actually see those yet. I'm gonna blur them out because they are Christmas presents. It can project much smaller than that, but I've got a little bit of a makeshift plug socket at the moment. It's only a short cable, and this is as far as my extension lead will reach. Not super safe, but it'll make do in a pinch. You do have to be very careful when you're projecting. There are a few little steps that you need to follow, otherwise you could still end up messing up the proportions of your drawing. Before we get onto that, I just want to say that this is not a product endorsement. It's not a fancy projector. It's affordable and it works better than I could have hoped. This one is made by a company called Orking or AU King. I don't really know how to pronounce that. But as I said, I'll put a link in the description for this projector. If it's out of stock or not available in your country, the link should take you to the nearest match. And because of the price of this thing, I am sure any of those projectors will also do the job. It's how you use the projector that's the most important thing. And now I'm going to show you how I set up my projector and image to get a perfectly proportioned drawing every time. The projector itself is just plug and play. It's that easy. My laptop is super old, super slow. I've got a really old version of Photoshop on it and I can't afford to upgrade either of them. So that is why I bought this projector so that I could use it with my iPad. 
As I said, you need to set the projector up as close to perpendicular and in the center of your canvas as possible. Then you need your image. So I've imported my image onto Procreate on my iPad. To connect your iPad, you need an HDMI cable and you need an HDMI to iPad connector. Mine is HDMI to USB-C. I'll leave a link in the description to the particular one that I've got. But make sure you check your specific iPad port to make sure that you choose the right adapter. So I've got my image. You first, when you plug this in and when you plug in your projector, you need to make sure that your projector is displaying at the same resolution as your iPad. Mine was right straight out of the box, but you can just change it with the remote. It's dead easy. It's really important that the image is the same proportions as the canvas that you're projecting on. So if my canvas, which is 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters, it's square, then my image needs to be proportional. It also needs to be square, which as you can see, it is. The iPad's great because you can move and you can scale things and resize things dead easily with the touch of a finger. You can also zoom in the canvas we can make this full screen if we want to. And then also by using four fingers, we can remove all of the icons around the side, which just gives us a little bit of a wider projection. So I zoom in and I scale this image so that I can closely match it to the canvas that we are trying to project on. The next step is the most crucial. And if you forget to do it, it can lead to your proportions being way off because it's hard to get your projector to line up exactly square with that canvas. And if your projector doesn't have a keystone feature, it can sometimes lead to a bit of distortion between the screen and the projector. To account for this and make sure that your drawing isn't stretched or skewed. So you go to the edit button, this little arrow, and then down at the bottom, you click distort. If you want to, at this point, you can remove everything so it's just projected on the screen with that four finger tap. Then you just grab the corners of the image and you just make sure that it lines up with the corners of the canvas that you're trying to project onto. That's why it was so important that the image proportions were the same as the canvas. Then it's just a case of drawing out your image. But if you don't have an iPad and you do have a laptop, then as long as your laptop has an HDMI port, all you're gonna need is an HDMI cable. The most crucial bit, we go to edit, hover over transform, and then click distort. And then we can adjust these corners so they match up with the corners of the canvas that you're trying to project to so that we get an accurate and well-proportioned image. And there you go, it's that easy. I know this hasn't been one of my usual art videos, but I hope you found it helpful. And you can also check out my full process in acrylics video to see the projector being used in action. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.